Amazon Prime release One Night in Miami. I checked it out. Now let's talk about it. What's everybody? It's not back. Other day, uh, Amazon Prime released One Night in Miami, and it was great. Like, I don't know how, I have nothing negative to say about this movie. Regina King, that this was her directorial debut, and she aced it. Like, this movie hits from the very beginning to the end. Like, the opening scenes, the opening, like, everything just leads up to this night, and everything that happens, like, kind of plays off of stuff that's happened in the past. So, when you have these conversations later, when you have these, these moments later in the movie, it just really just rocks. Like, I love it. I love the acting. I love the soundtrack. I love the story. I love how it makes you think, how it is on point topical and really helps drive home the messages and the things and the shows these battles that we still today have to fight that was going on in the 60s, in the 50s. And I love that. Like, I love movies that make you think. I love movies that when anybody watches it, regardless of their experience, they can get something positive out of this and they can learn from this. Yes, it's a fictional, um, it's, it's, you know, based on the true events, but you know, the conversations and everything is fictional, is, is made up. But at the same time, you can see these people, these characters, uh, you know, interacting this way. So, you no, know, when I Miami is based off of when Muhammad Ali first won the, the world title against Sonny Liston, um, and he gets together with his friends, uh, Malcolm X, uh, Sam, and um, Jim Brown, and you know they're to celebrate Muhammad. I mean, Cassius Clay at the time, his win, also to talk about what that win means for Black people in America and what Jim Brown and Sam Cooke and Malcolm X, what their roles are in what is happening in America at that time. And it really you know, speaks volumes even now with everything that's going on, you know, this past summer and then this past couple of weeks, everything that's been happening, you know, yes, this happened in the 60s, but it's really crazy how even now these same things are happening still, you know? And you have these people in power, or, or people who are celebrities, who have a voice and can really use that voice to empower. And, you know, we look at how they use their voice to talk about the injustices that are happening in America. And I really enjoy the conversations that they have and how, you know, it made you think. It made you think it's not just a conversation that, uh, Malcolm X is having with Sam Cooke, but it could be a conversation that is happening, you know, in a boardroom or in a conference call or in a FaceTime call between, you know, a Jay-Z and a LeBron James or a Shaq and someone else. It's, it's just very enlightening, enlightening to watch these things and, you know, do a little bit, do a little bit of soul searching and, and to do a little bit of thinking on your own about what's happening in the world around us, you know, and how every action that we have, every little thing that we do, that we play a part, you know, in what is happening in this world, whether um, directly or indirectly, or, you know, on a megaphone or quietly in the corner, you know, every every little bit, every little bit matters. Every every little bit matters. And this, this to me, the conversation they had in this movie really helped show that. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's definitely so far, I mean, granted, you know, 2021 is a very young year, but so far, you know, it sets the bar high for what I expect out of movies. Uh, I'm looking forward to what Regina, can do, Regina King can do in the future. As far as being a director, you know, this is really, she's so talented anyway, so I'm not surprised that this movie like hits it out of the park. And I'm, I'm looking forward to, to what's coming down the line. Uh, I definitely, definitely say, check this movie out. You will not regret it. It is one of those movies that is really, really worth seeing. Um, if you've seen it, let me know what you think in the comments below. Until the next time, 